Okay, guys, what is up, guys? Video Game Jam Poop here with a new playthrough for my channel. This time we're doing New Super Mario Bros. for the Nintendo DS. Now, for this game, I am playing this on the Wii U Virtual Console. Um, and I've also injected the US version of the game. So I'm playing the, on Virtual Console. And the brightness is high, so it's not like that dark brightness that you can see after I get out of the Virtual Console menu there. It's like that there, and then it goes to full bright. But yeah, it, yeah, and I've also played um, the original, the new Super Mario Bros. Wii on my channel back ages ago. Well, it, back in back when I was 11 years old, before I created my channel in like 2020. So when I was 14. So, but yeah, I've done this some Wii years ago. So, so here we go with uh, uh, the first ever new Super Mario Bros. for the Nintendo DS. First, let me check the options. And again, I changed the screen size, kind of like my canvas, uh, Kirby Canvas Curse LP, where I uh, I zoomed in the screen so it doesn't look right here, but I intended it that way. So then you can see the full screen, so, not, so you don't have to worry about the black bars too much. So, so yeah, then the screen settings, I decided to use that. Now, there are some parts of the game where the touch screen is the main screen, in some parts of the game, but I'll all, but I'll I'll always le wait. What? Oh, you can change sides. I didn't know that. I didn't know you could do that. Oh, right, that's cool. But we'll have it this we'll have it this way because it's better. Because in my Canvas Curse playthrough, I had the touch screen as the main screen, and then the the other screen optional. So yeah, these will be good controls, and surround sound we'll use. And we'll have the Mario game, and we'll start a new file. So yeah, that is why the screen is zoomed in slightly. To, uh... Huh? To keep the screen nice and big for you guys. And not because of an error. Hmm? And Bowser Jr. has kept that Princess Peach this time. And something blowed up the castle. And how did Mario go small there? He wasn't in the in the title demo. That is weird. So world one here. Again, I can always look at my gamepad in that, and I can always touch the touch screen as well. Uh, so there are some parts where the touch screen is the main screen, but that's only minor parts of the game. But I'll leave the screen like this always, so because they're only minor anyway. So. It, most of the game is that screen. So, here we go. World 1-1. One -one. I can mainly look at the touch screen here. So, yeah. You can see here. So, we got a mushroom right here. And... And this music's really good. I think we go down this pipe. No, we don't. Um... Do not. Um, oh, we have a mega mushroom. That is a new thing of this game. So we're massive. And I'm not going to destroy the pipes because we need to go down to some of these pipes. Uh, maybe not all of them, but at least a lot of them we do, yeah. That one we don't, so. And you get one ups every time you get, like, depending on what you get. So that's kind of cool. So we got two star coins. Yeah, there are star coins in this game. Oh, it's this pipe. And you can see the bottom screen there, but I'll try and focus on the bottom screen on my gamepad. And it is very difficult, but still. Uh, so it's only sub it's only sub caves in areas. So, so sometimes you're required to go through them. Sometimes they're optional. Like this one's optional, but obviously I'm going for 100% here. And I died. On the first level. Okay then. And again, I can use uh, save states with Virtual Console as well. I'll try and use a lot, but maybe not too much. Uh, okay. And we need to be Big Mario to get that last star coin, so... Alright. Yeah, it's a bit difficult looking at the bottom screen like this. 
but you can see right there. You also notice a no item uh, circle there. Well, you can act when you collect. So, say you get two mushrooms, for instance, but you're already big. Uh, well, it will go in there. So, the next time you can get a mushroom, then you can um, pretty much um, you can pretty much um, what was I going to say? You can pretty much uh, uh, grow big again. So that's cool. So we cleared this area. So you can get, like, another power-up as well, so that's kind of cool. Oh, and a new gimmick to the game, to the series, are red boxes. What do these do? So we're going to go back in this level again. And you can get a random item out of them. Oh, we got a Mega Mushroom. All right, we'll see if we can get many one ups then. <laughs> okay. We'll destroy the pipes as well. Oh, oh, nice free one ups. Hooray, yay. Oh, and Fire Flower, I want that. Uh, because there are only some power ups in this game. There's no propeller like in Nissan Wii, because it was added in Nissan Wii. Or Penguin Suit, or Ice Flower. But there is uh, one unique power up that is exclusive to this game, at least. I think. I don't know. So nice. <laughs> we'll be beating World Dash World 1 Dash 1 again. Alright, uh, next one, Dash 2. And this is a cave level, but the cave is again on the top screen, so. So it's only sub areas which go on the bottom screen. So yeah, some DS games I might play on my channel may be tricky to do. Well, not tricky to play, but I mean tricky to record because because of the different screens you have to do. And I don't want just a smaller screen so you guys cannot see. Because that means I'll have to edit it all, so it's almost like it's designed for like phones and that. But still. Because I want people on TV to watch it as well, so don't just want phone people watching it, so... So that's why I make these screens a bit better for DS games. Like, I could change it a lot, but still, it'll be a hassle. And there are also some times where I have to, like, change the screen sideways. Uh, or some games only play sideways, of course, like Brain Age, for example. But we'll get to those in the future, so... Oh, and that stock has got from the... Okay. I believe there's a secret exit here as well. Like, I don't remember a lot of this, a lot of this game too much, because I'm mostly familiar with the other new Super Mario Bros. games. But still, oh, we got a star. Okay. I think... I believe there was a secret exit up here. Oh yeah, and the music's from uh, Super Mario 64. Uh, playing with the star. All right, I think this is the secret exit and the third star coin. Yeah, not only the third star coin, but a secret exit as well. So we'll have to play this stage again to get the uh, normal exit. All right, there we go. We've got the secret exit. So nice. That was so nice. <laughs> sure was, uh, Mario. Oh, and we get a mushroom house here. Ah, oh, just spat on my gamepad. And we can go to the tower early, but of course we're gonna... We'll go for the mushroom house first and then. Right, I want to get a unique power-up here, so I'll save state here. Oh, I did it on first try! Yeah, the blue shell! This is very useful. And I'll show why. All right, I'll show off why. I'll save state here. here I go. And we've got a... Well, we'll check what's in that box thing first. Oh, another blue shell. Right. To prevent keeping the flower... There we go. All right. So... So you can continuously 
just, uh, so if you hold the run button, uh, which is, which depends on your control, really, uh, and then keep running, then you'll get this state. The only hard part is to, like, get out of areas, so you've got to be really careful with this. Alright, and then you have to let go to, like, go to, into a pipe, because otherwise you'll bump off. <laughs> Just like that when you're trying to get up there. You have to be really careful. But we got it anyway. <laughs> and I can also change the filter as well, but I would prefer, I would prefer the default filter. Alright, we'll not check in there. And here's another thing you could do. If you go to these signs... You'll need five star coins to go through. Yes, you pay, and then you can go in places such as this one-up house, and you can also save the game as well. So, say you really need to, I don't know, uh, go to some family and you want to continue later, you can use these to save, uh, along with finishing towers and castles. So, finishing a world, you can also save the game. Uh, I don't think you can quick save in this game, not at all. So, right, I'll save state here because. You can get one-ups here, and there's one Bowser, and you want to avoid the Bowser. It's only annoying because you don't know which one's which. Right, so, the third one was a Bowser. I don't know if it's random every time, so I'm going to try them again, but not hit the third one. Alright. Oh, yes. No, it's not random. Well, of course it is random, but I mean, after every save state, it isn't, so that's lucky. And I got 21 lives already, wow. And we have Toastworth doing all this job. Alright, one, well, 1-3, one we'll save, stay here, so then we can save the 1-ups. It's like an athletic level. What, why, why are you not running, Mario? There we go. <laughs> It's a bit awkward sometimes, on, especially on gamepad. And you have these things, you can uh, basically propel yourself up. So this is kind of like the propeller mushroom, but not too much uh, when you bounce on those things. Because you do float, but it's not like the propeller uh, mushroom power-up. We got two star coins already, wow. <laughs> we found them straight away. Now the third one! Oh, it's, it's just right there. All easy to find. But again, if I can't find them, then I'll use a guide! And you have red coins again. You'll just get power-ups or one-up. Right, I've lost the power-up. But it don't matter. I'll keep it in my inventory anyway. That was so nice. Okay. Okay, so for each episode, I plan to do the first half of a world, so like, so this is, uh, world one, and we're, we're going to the tower. I thought after finishing every tower, or maybe some towers, it depends, uh, so is it at least like 20 minutes or so, or less, kind of, then I'll end the video off and then continue in the next video, so that's what I plan to do with, um, uh, Nassum DS. So, we'll go to the tower. There is a secret exit here anyway, so I guess the video will be slightly longer. So we're gonna go through here. Uh, I'll have the fire flower, it don't matter. Oh, but you gotta be careful! I have not safe stated at all. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm not gonna bother what's in those. Uh, I'm not gonna bother checking what's in those uh, red boxes. Those red, um, question mark boxes. Uh, I'll just use the default mushroom. Right, there's nothing there, it was just a coin. Alright, here we go. Oh! Oh, that was close! Yeah, this music is unique to this game. It's similar to the one in the sim way, but it's very different. Alright, then we go through there. Get that star coin right there! Ooh, I thought I was going to take damage. And what I like as well is if you hold a jump button and then you press another jump button, you can still go higher. So, 
if you want that as your advantage, then you can go for it. Now, there are two paths right here. This one takes to a door right here. And there's another star coin there. So that door, you can go to a secret exit there. But I'm going to get this third star coin first. And then you go up here. And then you climb up this and then boom. You continue on there. Now the second star coin, I believe, is in this door. Yeah, it's right there. So, but not only that, but also you can get a secret exit. You don't go through that door because uh, that door takes you back to the previous area. You go here, and then this is where the shell comes in. Thankfully, we have the shell. So, uh, so if you don't have the shell, it's almost impossible. That's why this yellow pipe is there, in case you don't have it. All right, we got this area done, so we just gotta go in that red pipe. And then, we drop down. And we are right here, so... Oh, come on. Come on! Oh, I wanted to... I wanna get a high jump here. Oh, no! Why is the jump not working? Oh, no. Come on, come on, come on! Yes! And we got a one-up. <laughs> nice. Okay, we got a one up, and then we'll do the, and we'll do this tower one more time. We'll not go in the cannon because that takes us to world five, I believe. I'm not sure. I think it's world five. It takes us to. Here I go. All right, so we'll do this again, but we'll go to the main path this time. So what's in here? Right. Oh, so it replaces it. So we keep the shell, but we do not. But we can have the flower for later. So if you wanted a flower now, unfortunate for you guys, I guess. Whoa, no! Alright. Right, I'm gonna try and use the shell here. No, 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 Okay, we got the we got the fire flower though, so then we we can at least have two. So then we can get another one right here and then save that. There we go. It's cool, isn't it? Huh. Ah, I know we won't have time there. You can also fire lots of flowers as well. Alright. Fireballs. Alright. Alright, here we go. What's in here? Well, besides me getting hit by a, a dry bones there. Uh, just another fire flower, all right. Uh, pointless for some people, but still. Right, this time we'll just go through the pipe route. Collect all these coins to get a one up back. You can also wall jump up here as well, if you want. And we'll go in this pipe. I think that yellow pipe was where the secret exit, uh, the secret exit would be. But if you didn't have the uh, blue shell, right, I want to get. Oh, it's just a fire flower. All right, we got big dry bones there. You cannot even kill them. And through this door is Bowser Jr. Now, now he takes three hits, but if you ground pound him, then he takes only two hits. So it's quicker to ground pound him, and then just normal. Hit, and then normal jump on him, and then he goes down in seconds, which is amazing. Oh, in fact, we'll do one more thing before we end this video off. Uh, that uh, big mushroom house there. We'll save the game, of course. Then we'll need five star coins. We have seven, so so we can go in there, and then we'll get a um. We can get a uh, mega mushroom, and we'll save that for later. Cause this, because these houses always give you a mega mushroom. I cannot, I cannot burn Toadsworth on fire for some reason. Okay, guys, that'll be it for today's video. <laughs> that took ages to load. All right, so next time in New Super Mario Bros, we will tackle the rest of World One. 
And uh, so, so we got that level and then uh, level five and then that one down there, the water thing, that is a secret level. And you'll need star coins to go in there, so yeah. And you'll need star coins to go in that uh, uh, one-up house as well. And then, of course, the castle level, so we'll see how long they take. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Video game jam poop out. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!